Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, first of all, would you like to in introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is uh, Robbie McMenemy. I'm 26 years of age. I've been kickboxing the last 15 years, and uh, my discipline is point fighting and kickboxing. Now, how did you start and get involved in point fighting? Um, I started when I was 11. Um, I used to be a small little fat kid, and uh, I watched all my Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan movies, and that's pretty much what got, it, got me into it. A friend of mine started in the club, and uh, I joined up with him one day, and he gave up, and I kept going. Uh, my sister got into it, and then it became like a family thing, and she gave up, and I kept going again, so here I am today. And what's the most important thing you think about uh, point fighting? Um, I like the way it builds a team, and you you kind of you pal around with the people you train with. It's, it's almost like a family. Um, the people you fight against, your sponsors, your 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 coaches, everybody's like a family. So it's it's not just a sport. It's kind of it's a way of life, really. And besides it being just a sport, what does it mean to you to compete in competitions? Um, I love competing. That's that's why we do it. Um, you train so many hours and you sacrifice so much at home, and everybody else around the world does the exact same thing. And for you to kind of to pitch yourself against someone from a different country who's living a similar lifestyle to you, sacrificing the same things, and uh, see whose kind of skill level comes out on top, it's a it's a great achievement when you win. So that's pretty much why we do it. And when you win a fight or lose a fight, what are the emotions you go through? Um, when you win a fight, it's it's a uh, obviously you're happy. It's sometimes it's a bit of relief that. I don't know that you haven't let your coaches down or you haven't let yourself down. Your training has, has been good and you're, you're improving all the time. Um, you don't want to stagnate as a fighter and just do the same old training, the same old time. Um, when you lose, personally, I, whether I, I lose against uh, a good fighter or a bad fighter, whether it's a world championships or a small local tournament, um, I'd be upset with myself. Obviously, I wouldn't have trained uh, as hard as I should, it would be my feeling. Um, sometimes losing a fight is out of your control anyway, but if I lose a fight, I'm generally unhappy with myself for the next few weeks or months until I've, uh, until I've beaten that person again. And what's the best fight you think you've attended or competed in? Um, the best fight I've attended was probably uh, Beijing Sport Accord last year. It was on in uh, September in, in Beijing itself, and uh, it just, that was the most professionally run tournament we've really been at. Um, everything was good from our, our weigh-ins to our fights, um, the hotels, everything. Once we arrived, uh, you were made feel like a like a proper sports star, and that's pretty much the way it should be, you know. And who by far is the strongest athlete you think you've ever fought against? Um, I fought against a lot of strong athletes. I don't have a particular, particularly the strongest. Um, there's strong kickers, there's strong punchers, there's there's mental fighters that make you think a bit more when you fight. Um, everybody has a different aspect and during any part of a fight any fighter can be can be just as strong and um, if you're down two points obviously every if, in order to be down two points you have to be fighting a strong fighter anyway so um, I think every fight is, is strong f at some aspect during the fight and um, obviously there's people that would beat you more than others like uh, Drew Neal, Gregorio De Leo, uh, Nikos Memos uh, Morton Spicer, they're kind of growing up now, they're the people I've fought mostly and uh, they'd be probably my top four hardest fighters to fight. Okay, and what do you think about intensive point fight? I love it, I think it's uh, it's it's the way kickboxing needs to be going and um, I think a lot of... I started this... Uh, you want to do it again? Yeah, only the last one. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I love uh, the idea of intensive point fighting. Um, I think a lot of coaches have good ideas, and this is intensive point fighting is just all these good ideas put to practice. Um, there's no one way of doing things. Uh, Gregorio shows you his way, and if it works, you do it. If it doesn't work, he helps you adapt a different way for it to work for you. Um, it's good that internationally it's, it's su such a, a big success as well. It's catching on a lot of good countries and um, developing a lot of good fighters, particularly Bulgaria, Switzerland. He's done a lot, lot of traveling around there and uh, everybody enjoys it. We, we all come here for the same reason, to spar, to train and uh, like I said earlier on, it's, 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 a, it's a family, you know. And would you say you're quite a sh mentally strong? Do you feel like you have to be for this kind of sport? Yeah, yeah I, I find myself very determined. Um, mentally strong, you do have to be mentally strong to kind of to succeed in, in any sport, um, particularly sports where you're on your own. When you step out on the mat, it's, it's just you that's there. Um, team sports, yeah, you have to be mentally strong. You can fall back or rely on your teammates. Where when, you're, when you're fighting in a, 
in a World Championship final. It's it's you that's on the mat, so you do have to be mentally strong. And um, you can see that tested in fighters from time to time during rounds, before the fight, after the fight. Um, so it definitely helps. And what would you say that makes you different from any other athlete? Um, some people would call it laziness. I call it being uh, efficient. Uh, I'd be a very static fighter, um, maybe traditionally kind of an old school fighter, as I wouldn't do so much of the flashy kicks or uh, the flashy movement. I, I think I can still do them now. I just I stick to my bread and butter techniques, and they seem to do me well. Um, and what characteristics um, do you feel make a good point fighter? Um, I think there's a lot. Um, I wouldn't say there's one important one. I think uh, you need to be determined uh, in any sport, particularly points fighting. You need to be determined um, because there's so much, how would you say, pain associated with the sport. You get hit, you get punched, you, you punch people back, you get injuries. Um, so to keep going through that, you, n you need to be determined and committed to your training. Um, in order to reach any kind of high level of training and, and get the glory of winning fights you, you have to train harder than everybody else in your section everybody in your weight um, and to get to the top level in the sport you need to put in a lot of effort because everybody else does so i think commitment and dedication would be the kind of the two main ones and what are your next goals in the future um well this year i have the wacker world championships and um, which are on in dublin in my own home country so there'll be a bit of pressure there and um, i'm challenging for the 79 kilogram uh, title so I have a few good fighters in that, um, I've beaten them, they've beaten me, so I plan on training harder now, I have a, I have a plan to succeed at this and hopefully it goes well. And do you have any hobbies outside of um, point fighting? Um, well, my job is kind of my hobby, I've, uh, I work as a firefighter, so it's, I love my job, it's, uh, it's, that'd be my, my main hobby, I wouldn't have any other kind of sports, um, I teach kickboxing club, um, in Dublin as well, and that's getting really successful now. So, hopefully, we will get all my uh, all my students over the next in intensive point fighting session. And I hear you have a, a little requirement when it comes to food and chicken. Do you want to explain that to me? Um, yeah, as a vegetarian for nineteen years, and um, I only started back eating chicken kind of two years ago. And uh, I have a nickname now, Mac Chicken, and uh, Demarco calls me that. Uh, I think that's why he calls me that. But. Um, I just made uh, troy fish last night by uh, Gregorio, it wasn't nice at all, so uh, I was peer pressured into it. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, no problem.